Okay guys, two real quick ones today. Um, 1978 Honda CX500. Um, I'm going to be adjusting the valves and adjusting the cam chain or timing chain. First thing, um, sorry my bike's kind of apart so I can't show you taking the valve cover off but it's very simple. There's two 10 millimeter bolts, one here, one here. Um, those pop off, they're held in with rubber grommets so they won't uh, they, they come off with the, the valve cover. They'll, they'll stay captive in the, in the valve cover. And an 18 millimeter socket to take out your spark plug. Obviously, you've unplugged the spark plug first, and then you take out the plug. And, uh, and you'll see the valves. Um, uh, there's a right and a left. Obviously, when you're sitting on the bike, right is right, left is left. Uh, when you're sitting on it facing forward, not sitting on it facing backwards. God knows why you would, but I just want to be clear. Uh, now there's a timing... Uh, the crankshaft inspection port is back here on top of the transmission. Drive shaft's right here behind you. Um, this is a 17 millimeter bolt. I've loosened it already, so I just have to take it off for you to see. And there's an identical inspection plug on the front, and that is just to get to the crankshaft. 17 millimeter. Now you're going to take a 17 millimeter socket with it set to tighten as if you're tightening a bolt because you want to turn this crankshaft only clockwise not counterclockwise clockwise only which means if it's in tighten and you're sitting on the left side right side of the bike you're pulling it toward you so first thing we're going to do is the cam chain so we're going to be looking through this little inspection port window um, you won't be able to see it as I'm lining it up but then I'll put a flashlight in there so you'll be able to see it and what we're going to line up is there's a little pin on the left hand side underneath the screw. There's a little tiny pin and we're going to be lining up a mark TL top left. So we're going to be moving until we see that. And I don't know if you'll see it but I said like I said once I find the TL. Yeah, my plug socket for life. Um, I will put the flashlight on there so you can see it. If you go past it, continue to turn clockwise only. Okay, that's right. And TR. Tiny mark. FL. And we're coming up to TL. Hold on a second. I just want to make sure that's dead on. Bingo on the pin. Okay, now I'll flash the flashlight in there so you can see the TL. Can you see the TL down there on the left? Right across from the pointer? I hope you can. I think you can. I can see it through the lens. Anyway, that's the top left. And be back in one second. We're going to adjust uh, the uh, timing chain. Back in one Okay, sorry about that. I had to go get a wrench. 10 mil wrench. This little bolt that's above the inspection plate, it's a 10 mil, that's the timing chain. Now you're just going to loosen it, not all the way, you're not going to undo it, you're just going to loosen it and that will allow the timing adjuster to spring into place and push down on the timing chain. That should be loose enough, I want a little looser but I don't want it too loose. I want to make sure that the timing chain is actually being pushed on. If there's actually movement in that. Okay. And now, simply, once it's loosened, that will loosen the, the spring and allow the spring to push against the chain. And I'm just going to tighten it and lock it into that position. And that is simply it. Why is this not tightening? There may be an issue here. God damn it, I don't want to pull this engine apart. This should be getting tightener. Tighter and it's not. Son of a... Uh, you know what? Uh, apparently the monkeys have been at this in the past. Someone has screwed this up. Son of a bitch. 
I'll be back. Guess what? <laughs> I'm sure you could probably guess since the engine is not in the bike anymore. Uh, pull it out, separate the case halves to take a look at the tensioner. Uh, this is the tensioner. I've taken the um, little cutter pin and the, uh, the guide pin out of the top uh, and slid the tensioner out because this is the tensioner bolt. That's the hole the tensioner bolt is supposed to go into. And it is stripped. So, more than likely, someone in the past went to adjust the tensioner, backed it out too far. All you're supposed to do is, is loosen this thing, take some tension off, and then the spring will push the tensioner tighter. And then you tighten it up and it holds. Um, I'll kind of show you how it works. This is the, the spring arm. Hold on a second. Now this is supposed to be attached through up here um, and the spring pulls down on the whole thing. Yeah, this is kind of a bitch to put back in and out. Anyway, this one, this, this end rides in that pivot there and it basically just, um, see the little bushing in the slot there? Oops, bushing in slot. That moves up and down. So basically, when you when you loosen this, it pulls down as tight as it can on the uh, the spring pulls on this and pushes the tensioner the the guide right here against the chain. And then you just snug it up and it stays there, stays riding there. Um, if you loosen it too much, then this thing is just going to. If you loosen it too much, it will it'll come out and you won't be able to rethread it because the spring is going to pull down. It won't go into the hole. You won't be able to get it back in. You might, if you're lucky, doubtful, um, if you reached into the uh, inspection port with your finger and pushed it up, you might be able to get it back in. But more than likely, someone just left it, you know, loosened it and left it. It could have vibrated loose on its own. That's always a possibility. Um, but anyway, so this hole is stripped, and I am not sure what I'm going to do. Any suggestions would be uh, welcome. I can either tap it out. Um, unfortunately, this tensioner bolt is a specific size. Um, maybe a helicoil, if there is a helicoil available for this size. Uh, that I don't know. I'll have to check at Napa tomorrow and see if they have helicoil kits for this size. Um, that's about my only option. Um, people are going to recommend JB welding it. I've never JB welded threads like this before. I don't know if that make a thread stuff works. Never really tried it. Never really thought I'd trust it. So never even gave it a shot. Anyway, um, here's my misery. Anyway, uh, so if you have a CX500, if you have a loose tensioner bolt, this might be your uh, future. Woo. Uh, anyway, not much fun. Uh, the engine does have to come out for this um, water pump. Uh, water pump pulley, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Whole engine back half has to come out. And obviously I'm pulling the gasket off now because I'm going to be putting a new gasket on here to put this on. Which is also not a lot of fun since the case was not leaking in the first place. And I hate scraping old gasket off. But uh, anyway, that's where we stand. Uh, any suggestions would be great, thanks.